Poland agreed the $5.76 billion contract with two South Korean companies to export tanks and howitzers as well as other weapons including fighter jets and rocket launchers in August last year, part of a push to ramp up arms. Duda said Poland was aiming to build a military strong enough to deter any potential opponent, suggesting the paradox of having to spend billions of zlotys, billions of euros and dollars to buy equipment so that it will not have to be used in combat. Na bieżąco monitorujemy sytuację także i na Ukrainie zdobywamy tam doświadczenia, pozyskujemy informacje i uwzględniamy to wszystko także jeżeli chodzi o właśnie budowanie polskich sił zbrojnych w taki sposób, aby były na tyle silne, by odstraszyły każdego potencjalnego przeciwnika. To jest taki paradoks. Wydajemy miliardy złotych, miliardy euro, dolarów, po to, żeby kupić wyposażenie, które ma służyć temu, aby nie musiało zostać użyte w praktyce bojowej. Poland showed off newly delivered Korean-built tanks and howitzers on March 30, showcasing a rapidly modernizing military in the wake of the Russian invasion of Ukraine, its imports amid tensions with neighboring Russia. Hyundai Rotom Company SK-2 Black Panther tanks and Hanwha Defense's K-9 self-propelled howitzers were shown off in a training area in northeastern Poland, close to the border with Russia's Kaliningrad exclave. Speaking on a visit to the exercises, Polish President Andrzej